Plenty of travel across Oregon's back roads and byways are the unexpected sights and sounds, but also golden opportunities to learn about Oregon's wonderful past. Hi there, Grant McComey here, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. And this week, we really do have a golden opportunity, a chance for a nugget of new information as we visit Oregon's gold mining past at the Sumter Valley Dredge State Heritage Area. Northeast Oregon's Powder River, cool, quiet, and refreshing. But not so long ago, it was a river under siege. You could hear the dredge up to 20 miles in every direction. You could hear on cold nights, you could hear that dredge when it was digging, just the creaking of the dredge and the bucket line, the rocks hitting the, the rock piles. Yeah, it, it was noisy. A landscape where monstrous gold dredging machines ravaged the river valley floor. Today, it's a park that holds on to history and takes visitors aboard to see and touch the past at the Sumter Valley Dredge State Heritage Area. We have 72 buckets. Each bucket weighs a ton. The scale of this thing is, is just huge. Monstrous, isn't it is it? just huge. Stroll into the heart of the dredge, big as a barn and filled with gears and belts, winches and pumps, where the rock passed through steel cylinders, separating the rocks by size, before water and sluices separated the gold from the dirt. You didn't see many gold nuggets. There's mostly fine pepper. So this is turning all the time? Yeah. If you're lucky, you might meet the men who lived the history. It went down to those jigs, those small jigs like well, brothers it's Wes it's and Paul Dickison, who and grew up in nearby down. Baker City. In 1947, the two teens worked on the dredge for highest wages around, $1.35 an hour. OSHA would have shut this down the very first day they stepped on it. But nobody got hurt. All kinds of hazards. I mean, there was lots of hazards. What could get you? Cables, gears, open gears that weren't, weren't guarded. It's something that you'll always remember. I can, I can hear it right now. Jerry Howard's dad was a winchman in the 30s who operated the dredge from way up here. And there were 72 buckets going round and round 24 hours a day. It dug up a lot, of, a lot of land. The Sumter dredges turned the Powder River upside down for miles around. Decades later, the tailings undulate like snakes across the valley. Yet, time has a way of healing the land. Trees and other vegetation are slowly coming back. An important Oregon story that Sumter Parkland shares with visitors. Gives us the, the opportunity to, to share that. And it's really fun. It, it's really fun. The Sumter dredge is one of just two intact dredges left standing in the lower 48. The other one, it's over in Idaho. The Sumter Valley dredge is open any time this fall. We've provided all the details, directions, and contact information right here on the Travel Oregon website. So until next week, get out here and explore Oregon. Perhaps make some unexpected treasure finds of your very own. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.